Okay, here we go. Question two, guys. So what do we have? So we're given a function 2 plus kx all to the power of negative 3, so I'm guessing this is a binomial expansion, where the absolute value kx is less than 2. Okay, and k is positive. The binomial expansion of the function in ascending powers x up to and including the term x squared is given by the following, where a and b are constants. So here, let's write down the values of a. All right, that makes sense. So let's try and figure out the value a. So the key idea is that this is just an expansion of the first term, meaning this is equal to this term. So the co in terms of coefficients, we can find it. So let's have a go. So we need to know firstly how to do the binomial expansion formula. Well, the general formula is always like this. It's always in the form of 1 equals ax, 1 plus ax all to the power n. It can be written as in any term, in any power, it's always 1 plus, and then you have to be very careful. Is going to be n times ax, so the power times ax, plus the next one would be a descending power order, so it would be n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial, so this is the second term, and then the ax squared, and then it's the same format, you just keep descending this by 1, multiplying the descending by product over 3 factorial and so on. Now, because it's up to x squared, we're going to leave out that point, yeah? So let's go ahead and do this. So we can instantly say what? that this equation here, 2 plus kx, needs to be written like this. So I'm going to do on this side, so 2 plus kx to the negative 3. Well, we can firstly, to get to 1 plus, we need to take 2 out. So to do, we need to take 2 to the negative 3 out. So this is 2 to the negative 3 out, and we've got 1 plus. Because we took 2 out, we need to, well, you know, divide this by 2. So it would be kx over 2, or to the negative 3. And that's it, guys. And if you realize this part, ax, a in this case would just be k over 2, and n is just negative 3. So that, that's an easy expansion. The only difference is now is that we're going to multiply all this by 2 to negative 3. So we can say that the expansion would be 2 to the negative 3, 1 plus. Oh yeah, guys, so I'm going to actually, I'm actually simultaneously doing the other questions as well, yeah? So 1 plus, and then k over 2, so n is going to be negative 3, so it would be minus 3 times k over 2x plus, and then we're going to have next one, minus 3 times, going 1 back. If you go 1 back, it will be minus 4, guys, yeah? So it will be minus 3 times minus 4, all over 2 factorial times k over 2, all squared. That's it. And oh yeah, big bracket, guys, yeah? Never forget the big bracket. So firstly, what's 2 to the negative 3? Well, that's just 1 over 2 cubed, and 1 over 2 cubed is 1 eighth. So we're going to have 1 eighth. So everything is multiplied by 1 eighth. And now expanding the inside, we've got minus 3k times minus 3k over 2. So that's just, that's just going to be minus 3k over 2x. So let me just tidy it up. Minus 3k over 2x. And then minus 3 times minus 4 is 12 over 2. So that's going to be 6. And then 6 times uh, half square. So you can put this in a calculator. So what I would do... I'll write all of this term in the calculator times, and I'll write 1 over 2 squared. So we're going to get 3 over 2. So it'll be plus 3 over 2x squared. kx squared. Never forget, the, never forget the square to k as well, yeah? That's it. Close bracket. And voila, guys. And well, if you were to expand this, you can clearly see that the first term, a, is going to be 1 eighth times 1, which is just... 1 eighth. So the first value a is going to be 1 eighth. Okay. So the layer, the layer ones are going to deal with b and c. So let's have a look at them right now. Okay, here we go. Part b and c. So here we need to find the values of k and b respectively. So now we already know that a was 1 eighth, wasn't it? Oops, let me write down here. a equals 1 eighth. Yeah, I really love these pens. These pens are so vivid. It's so nice. <laughs> so now let's have a go. So expanding the right side, what do we get? So you go 1 eighth times 1 is an eighth. 1 eighth times 3 over 2. So that should give us, I believe, minus 3 over 16 kx. And then plus, and then we got 1 eighth times 3 over 2 again. So plus 3 over 16 k squared x squared. And the key idea is just to match coefficients. So we know a is 1 eighth, so that's fine. So matching left and right side, we can say that b must equal minus 3 over 16 k. Just matching here with here. So I can say firstly, b 
must equal minus 3 over 16 k. We can also say that the second term, or the third term, 243 over 16, must equal the, the x squared coefficient, so 3 over 16 k squared. So 243 over 16 must equal 3 over 16 k squared. All right, so this one is fine. This is fine. So we can solve the second and well, let's find b straight after. So let's do it. So making k squared a subject, we can divide 243 over 16 by 3 16. What should that give us? So just, yeah, just put that in the calculator, guys. And you guys should get um, 81. So I've got k squared equals 81. That, this means that clearly square root in k will give us plus minus 9. But in this case, we want 9. Why? Because in the very beginning, it said k is a positive constant. So that's what we need. And that's it. Putting k equals 9 into the b equation, into this one here, we can say now that b must equal 3 over 6, minus 3 over 16 times 9. So b equals minus, over, minus 3 over 16 times 9. And this should give us 9 times 16 and minus 27 over 16. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped. And let me know if you've got any other questions. Otherwise, let's move to the next question.